Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Switzerland one video. Just a side note, I'm back home from Switzerland, as you can probably tell by the graphics and by the sound quality as well. Yeah, so that is what's happening now. In today's video, we are going to check out some of the German islands that there are. Yes, there are quite a lot of them. And recently, I talked about a very special German island, and that is Borkum, which is actually the German island that we're on right now. Now, uh, a few weeks ago, I was flying to this place in real life from Frankfurt, my hometown, and uh, what can I say? It was not that much of a good flight. I had very, very bad crosswinds, which, by the way, is very common at this place. You know, here in the North Sea, the wind almost always comes from the same direction, I guess, so you always have crosswind here. Literally, they were pretty dumb at building this airport on, not gonna lie. All the other islands, as we'll see later, have their runways properly placed so that there's not always crosswind. Yeah, it was really bad. It was also very strong me up there. Now, yes, Aerosoft recently came out with a big package of the German islands that there are, and uh, you know what? Let's just explore a little bit. Can Reiner fly their 737s to this place as well? Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, I've missed this setup here with this joystick, and uh, let's just casually take off. This is actually not a very long runway, 900 meters long, but it's not the shortest runway of these German islands that we'll check out today. There we go. That was a nice takeoff, wasn't it? Now, yes, the scenery is actually not that spectacular up here. You know, there's no, like, terrain, like, at all. You know, no mountains or anything. These are just very, very flat islands. But it can actually be quite a nice place to uh, do holiday at. Now, as I've already said, there are quite a lot of these very interesting airfields. Let's just visit some. Uh, for example, we have Juist. Let's just land there as well. I don't know. They seem to have quite a little bit of a longer runway, but let's check that out. This is not a very long runway at all, actually. But as you can see right here, they uh, did a proper job at designing this airport this time around. As you can see right here, the runway is facing to the west or to the east, depending on the situation, which works a lot better, by the way. Now, uh, let's actually step up the game a little bit. How long is this runway? I do wonder. That's like not very long either. It's like a solid 700 meters. Okay. Borkum had a 1000 meter long runway. This one is only 700 meters long. This can be interesting in the Zebo 737-800 by Ryanair. Can they also fly here? You know, there's actually quite a lot of uh, tourists here on the islands, obviously, and I think there would genuinely be some demand for actual, like, airliner traffic to this place. And there are actual air taxis that fly here. You know, they use planes like the Twin Otter, for example, which is a plane that we have checked out earlier as well. But there's definitely no 737s flying here, is it? All right, welcome back to our 737. This is gonna be an interesting landing. This is uh, definitely gonna be a pretty close story, isn't it? You know, these beaches are very, very large. I haven't realized that, actually. You can only really see it from the guys how large they really are like they're really wide i think that's perfect for landing planes but we can do that later on or maybe in another video as well first of all let's uh, focus on getting this plane landed on a 700 meter long runway so let me just concentrate a little bit here i guess we can make it just make sure to catch the whole runway oh that was more than the whole runway oh god all right, that was another very much failed landing, but maybe we can stop. Oh, wow, actually, this is looking good. This is looking good. All right, you know what? That was, uh... Oh, yeah, that was a really bad landing. Let's check that out. Yeah, that was a uh, landing before the runway started. God damn it. But uh, we did stop, and we didn't even use the whole runway. We could have gone for a, quite a normal landing as well, so no problem about that. Uh, where else can we fly? We have the island of Norderney as well. Let's maybe go there. Let's check out what kind of runway that one has. That's 900 meters long. I guess we can try out a big plane then. That could be pretty interesting as well. 767? Yeah, this could get close. Maybe this can work though, you know? So it is definitely worth giving it a try. Alright, welcome aboard the very much different 767. Oh, the runway is already down there. This is gonna be a pretty interesting one. God damn it. Alright, this was a very much missed approach. Let's do this again. Now, this island here is actually quite a lot bigger than the other ones. This one also has like normal streets compared to Borkum and stuff. When we flew there, we just rented like bikes and grabbed some lunch and then we actually flew flew off again. That was actually pr pr quite a nice day. But yeah, this one actually has normal roads and cars and all that stuff. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and uh, land. Oh, wow. This is not a long runway. I've just realized. Let's see. Maybe it is after all long enough for something like a 767. 
That was actually a pretty good landing, not gonna lie. That was like on point. Oh, wow, the plane didn't- No, god damn it. All right, we are uh, going around. That was really not good enough. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Uh, <laughs> god damn it. For some reason, the reverse thrusters just didn't want to deploy. Just didn't want to come out. There we go. That just didn't work. As you can see, they came back in again and had the engine run at full power, which is really not good. And uh, that was really a failed attempt. So let's do this again, I guess. See, that is why the 737 is a little bit easier. It doesn't care about these things. The reverse thrust will just come out. Whatever you do, <laughs> just doesn't care, right? And like the 767 is more of a woman of a plane. You know, it complains about everything. That was very sexist. I'm sorry. Let's just go ahead and land. All right, come on. Reverse thrust. Come on. Stop. All right, I think this is actually working now. All right, we actually can hear clapping in the background. And there we go, British Airways. You can fly your 767 here. We haven't even used the whole runway, even though I gotta say we did touch down before the runway actually started, which is something that I'm prone to doing today for some reason. And that was a little bit before the touchdown zone, I would say, but it was a solid landing anyway. And I was I was just really nervous about not stopping, but this was actually pretty fine. We did make it, so that's good. Let's maybe check out some more islands. What do we have here? Beltram. That seems like a very, very small runway. I think we're gonna have to go back to something like a 737 again. Oh yeah, 300 meters. Oh goodness, this is even gonna be close in the 737. Wow, 300 meters. That is not good. But uh, yeah, let's see about that. All right, welcome to Beltram. This is... Oh my goodness, can you see that small runway? I think that's here still the island of Norderney or Norderney. This is a pretty big one. This one on the other end here is not, and especially its runway isn't very big. Let's see. Maybe, uh, I think that's Alaskan. No, that's your China. <laughs> Maybe let's see. Your China with her 737s could also fly here. I mean, you know, there's a lot of Chinese tourists here in uh, Germany and, uh, and in general in Europe, and they for sure want to see these small islands, right? Oh goodness. Is this uh, gonna be close? Let me just tell you that, but I'm just gonna try my best. Oh my god. Stop, bitch. Oh my goodness. Whoa. All right, that might have not worked out at all. I mean, it was close enough. I tried my best again, but no, this, uh, I mean, this runway is shorter than an aircraft carrier. Let me just tell you that. This is actually a pretty cool one, though. Like, you know, at least it's asphalt. We gotta appreciate an asphalt runway, right? But yeah, this landing, it totally broke apart the plane. Uh, that didn't work out at all. Should we maybe find a plane that can actually fly here? That could actually be interesting, right? I mean, the Twin Otter is very much obvious, but a plane that might actually work work and might actually make sense to fly here is something like the Saab 340. You know, I like that plane a lot. I haven't flown it in a long time, so it's time again. This is in a flyby livery, which is, it's it's not, you know, flyby's gone, <laughs> but not forgotten, which is why we're flying it. All right, welcome aboard the Saab 340. See, this is a turboprop plane, and as I've said in many videos before, turboprop planes, they uh, don't need a long runway for operation, especially for stopping on a landing, because they have very strong uh, re reverse thrust, I guess, so they tend to Stop a lot faster than normal jet planes. We're looking good. Oh, wow, that was a tough one. But maybe this can be a stop, which it was. There we go. Uh, we might have actually damaged both that. No, they're both fine. There we go. We have, we might have damaged our passengers, but the plane is totally fine, right? So no worries about this landing, huh? There we go. That was our landing. And again, touchdown in the grass. What the fuck is wrong with me? Yeah, we badly damaged our nose here. Like, the runway has a very, very weird, like, slope to it here, which uh, makes landing bigger planes impossible, pretty much. But you know what? This was pretty cool anyway. So yeah, what can we say about all these very small, very interesting German islands? The weather is pretty bad. Don't go to these places. Just kidding. No, it's like genuinely fun to fly at these places. Uh, and uh, maybe some people learn something new. For example, that there is actual German islands that is actually a thing uh and uh yeah big airliners will not probably make it here not even jet planes the biggest planes to fly at these islands here is probably some kind of turbo props maybe the sam 340 that one would actually be suitable for most of these places probably not for the helipad i mean that does actually kind of have a little bit of a runway to it right but no we're no we're not going to do that but yeah this was a pretty cool adventure anyway so uh yeah guys thank you for watching today's video and i'll see you tomorrow as always good night especially tomorrow with a Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 review. That is going to come. See you guys.